Though Game of Thrones did not finish in a way that all viewers were happy with, the program nonetheless provided one of the most exhilarating television experiences of all time. Throughout the show's eight seasons, there were a handful of episodes that demonstrated just how good Game of Thrones could be at times. Every fan has their own personal favorites, but Ranker has rated the series' top episodes based on user votes. According to Ranker, the top Game of Thrones episodes have epic combat sequences, dramatic surprises, and emotional character moments. I will not give my life for Joffrey's murder, and I know I'll get no justice here, so I will let the gods decide my fate. I demand a trial by combat. So many stories in Game of Thrones, a genuinely fantastic one may easily overcome a truly awful one. Such is the situation with The Laws of Gods and Men, which contains the meaningless scene of Yara's botched rescue of Theon. While many fans cited that as one of the most cringe-worthy moments in Game of Thrones, the episode also included Tyrion Lannister's devastating trial. It was upsetting to witness such injustice done to a fan-favorite character, but it prompted him to deliver an epic monologue that has become famous and highlights Peter Dinklage's incredible talent. Some saw the season 6 plot following Bran's training with the Three-Eyed Raven as lengthy, yet it proved worthwhile with the episode, The Door. While the most of the episode is spent with Jon and Sansa planning for war, the episode concludes with Bran and the others under siege by the White Walkers. When the Night King and his army appear, it is usually thrilling, but this was an especially terrible confrontation. The episode's last minutes reveal Hodor's terrible past, as probably the gentlest character on the program meets his end. What are you doing? I promised Mom and I'd never lose it again. In case I don't come back. Game of Thrones would occasionally devote a whole episode to a big fight. The Watchers on the Wall depicted the battle between the Night's Watch and the Wildlings as they stormed Castle Black. The episode did a much to establish Jon Snow as the series' hero, as he led his troops into combat boldly. While the action scenes, like as the gigantic scythe and Jon's battle with a then, get most of the attention, it also marks the end of Jon and Wygritte's relationship. If you want to live, you have to leave. Weddings have always been dangerous in Westeros, but the one depicted in The Lion and the Rose delighted many followers. The entirety of the episode is devoted to Joffrey Baratheon's marriage to Marjorie Tyrell. There are a lot of interesting character interactions and uncomfortable relationships between the visitors. But the episode is undoubtedly a fan favorite since it is the one in which Joffrey Baratheon eventually dies in a satisfactory manner. Gods have made their will known. Tyrion Lannister, in the name of King Tommen of the House Baratheon, first of his name, you are hereby sentenced to death. Oberyn Martell, although being introduced in the fourth season of the program, rapidly became a notable character among the group, and his character development in the program culminates in the episode, The Mountain and the Viper. Oberyn goes battle against the mountain as Tyrion's champion in his trial, which serves as the episode's high point. It's an opportunity for vengeance, and Oberyn proves himself to be a badass throughout the fight. However, because Game of Thrones is not known for its cheerful endings, Oberyn has a stunning and brutal end. Battle is over. We have won. <laughs> With
With its first major war episode, Blackwater, Game of Thrones demonstrated its willingness to stretch the boundaries of television narrative. Tyrion plots the city's defense as Stannis Baratheon's army approaches King's Landing, while various other characters cope with what they believe will be their downfall. The program was a thrilling and epic hour of television that had some fantastic standout moments. It showed fans that Game of Thrones was going to be massive, from the wildfire explosion to the Hound's dramatic speech as he leaves to Tyrion leading the army into battle. Though the White Walkers had been mentioned as a potential menace, the program hadn't done a good job of establishing that with their minimal screen time. That changed in, Hard Home, when it became evident how futile the struggle would be against them. The episode makes no mention of the epic fight that would ensue when Jon attempts to bring the surviving wildlings to Castle Black. However, the catastrophic invasion by the White Walkers swiftly transforms the episode into a horror film, allowing the Night King to emerge from the shadows in a dramatic fashion. Long may she reign. While most Game of Thrones fan-favorite episodes focus on a single major plot point, The Winds of Winter, has so many major events that it's difficult to say which one had the most influence. The episode begins with Cersei Lannister's dramatic retribution sequence, which sets the tone for the rest of the show. The plot thickens from there, with Walder Frey receiving his comeuppance, a major discovery concerning Jon, and Daenerys ultimately sailing ship for Westeros. The The death of Ned Stark in the first season of Game of Thrones demonstrated that no one was safe and that the program will provide some unexpected moments. Despite this awareness, fans were taken by surprise by the carnage in The Reigns of Castamere. As he waged war against the Lannisters, many considered Rob Stark as the best hope for justice for the Stark family. But his heroic quest came to an end when he, his wife, and his mother were cruelly slain at the Red Wedding in a scene that took Game of Thrones to a whole new level. My hounds will never harm me. You haven't fed them in seven days. You said it yourself. They're loyal beasts. They were. Now they're starving. Though there had been previous fight episodes, the size and filmmaking of Battle of the Bastards nevertheless surprised many. The episode includes the much-anticipated battle between Jon Snow and Ramsay Bolton, as well as a crowd-pleasing montage in which Daenerys cleans up the wreckage in Marine. The episode was the most cinematic in the series, from Jon facing off the charging horsemen to the one-shot sequence in the mayhem of the battle to the sight of Jon rising from the Mound of Dead. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button so I can feel all mushy inside. Also, click the subscribe button while you are there, and then since you are on such a clicking roll, why not click on another awesome video that is already loaded up right here. You don't even have to watch it, just let the video play at 1% while you eat your sushi or something.